Hey, I'm Brett. There are two things you can do to get the best performance out of the Weevil Lab. Upgrading your firmware and calibrating your gimbal. Sexy stuff, I know. In this video, we're gonna do both. Special thanks to Zhiyun for sponsoring this video. Upgrading the firmware on the Weebill Lab is really important as it often contains new features, bug fixes, and better compatibility. Now luckily, upgrading the firmware is a really easy process compared to previous gimbals and it's all done inside the ZY Play app. First, make sure your phone is on the latest operating software. And the ZY Play app has also been updated. Firmware updates may show up in the app even if the app itself hasn't been updated. Before you start, you want to make sure that both your phone and your Weeble have over 30% battery life to prevent any sort of issues. Also, make sure that both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Now let's start. First, power on the Weeble. Then open the ZY Play app and connect to it. Normally you can continue using the app, but if a firmware update is available, you'll get a notification up top letting you know. Tap the notification, then tap to download the latest firmware. After it has been successfully downloaded, try to update. You may be alerted that Wi-Fi must be connected in order to continue the process. If so, just navigate to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect to your Weeble Labs Wi-Fi. If you're prompted for a password, simply type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. You know, that's the same password I use for all my stuff too. Neat. Tap the upgrade button to continue. The firmware will now be downloaded to the Weeble. Now don't lock your phone screen or power down your Weeble lab while this is happening. It could cause issues. Once it's been completed, tap complete. The Weeble will install the firmware and then power down when done. Power back on and double check the about menu for a successful upgrade. Awesome, now let's connect to the app and calibrate our gimbal. Now by default, the Weeble Lab is factory calibrated and you shouldn't need to do this very often. However, it can fix some issues. You should calibrate your gimbal under the following circumstances. There's a deviation in the level of your Weeble Lab after it has been powered on. If you have not used the gimbal in a long time, or if there has been a significant temperature change from when you last used the gimbal, like if you're traveling. Although it may seem confusing at first, once you do it, it's a really easy process. And the goal is simple. Simply rest your gimbal in different positions for each axis. Once in the app, we'll just need to select the calibrate icon. Find a flat surface, unlock each axis, and follow the on-screen instructions. After each position, we'll automatically get confirmation to proceed. First, lay the gimbal on its side, flat on the tilt axis with the handle facing towards you and the lens facing forward. Wait for confirmation. Step two, place the tilt axis facing up with the camera and handle facing towards you. Step three, make the tilt axis face towards you with the roll axis facing up, the camera facing up, and the handle still facing you. Now in these next steps, we're gonna keep the relative position mostly the same, but simply rotate the camera around. Step four, in this same position, face the camera lens down. Step five, in this position, lay the camera flat with the lens facing right. Step six, finally, in this position, lay the camera upside down with the lens facing left. Now, if you like, you can also calibrate your gimbal by navigating to the calibrate menu option and following the on-screen steps. Awesome, the firmware has been upgraded and the calibration has been, uh, calibrated, I guess. But yeah, super awesome stuff. And that's it for now. If you guys have any questions or comments or you need some help, let me know in the comments section down below. Thumbs up if you liked the vid and don't forget to subscribe. In future videos, we're gonna dive into setting up image transmission, filming with the different modes and more. You don't wanna miss it. Until the next one.
I'll see you.